says Newfoundland and Labrador is one of the most volatile provinces in the country. Now that's because this province's economy relies on a few key industries. The town doesn't have any specific plans for the site just yet, but the mayor says it's nice to have options to control the destiny of what he calls a symbol of the community. Exactly how much will it cost to repair all this damage? Well, that's still unknown. At this point, Mayor Finley says it looks like it could cost anywhere between one and two million dollars. Robin Miller, CBC News, Trapassi. It's easy to see why this proposal is good news for nearby residents who say they've been watching the building fall apart for years. It's a beautiful day to hit up one of the many walking trails that surround St. John's. The sun's shining, there's a light breeze, it's almost perfect. So why am I the only one out here? One word, Leslie. So we know people are spending more than they used to, but what's driving the trend? Customers here say it's a combination of things. That over the past three weeks, they've seen a significant increase in the number of patients coming here for treatment. And that's making for uh, busy times in the emergency room and uh, sometimes long wait times for patients. Now, the health authority says that there's nothing abnormal about this, that it's simply certain times a year uh, the emergency department is more busy than other times. But what is different about this year is that flu season has started a little bit earlier. So we're seeing uh, the, those numbers a little earlier than usual. Now, now, I was right outside the emergency department around lunchtime today and there was a steady stream of people coming and going. At least some people are making the most of it because the forecast is calling for more snow tomorrow. This cemetery dates back to about 1849. Spreading over 10 acres, there's a lot of space for damage to be done, and it was. Leslie's fierce winds wreaked havoc on the graveyard, toppling over headstones like this one and ripping mature trees out of the ground. The deadline to meet the standards is May 2014, and businesses won't be able to hide away. The Tourism Board will keep an eye on things to make sure that everyone coming to this province has the best experience possible. So when the weather isn't like this, how do you keep customers happy? A service expert who spoke at this conference says, contrary to what people may think, the key is to not go overboard with kindness. That person died in hospital shortly after the lab here was discovered. His mother says he died of diabetes. Police say since the suspect is deceased, no charges will be laid. Robin Miller, CBC News, St. John's.